Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffith's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at Runga Kutta, uh, four or five method, and we're going to do it in Excel. I found these set of slides on the internet, um, so just say they're not mine. So there we are, just to give you, this is slightly more complicated than the previous one. Uh, our function is, we have two functions, f is a function of x and y, x prime, and y prime or dy dt is a function of time in x and y and we have some initial conditions x and one our new x is our old x plus the weight of the a weighted average of the four slopes and yn is the old position plus a weighted average of the calculated four slopes general idea about the wrong cut the fourth order method i'm sure you know this by now and there is in the theoretical way of getting f1, f2, f3, and f4. That would be for the x position. And there is how to get g1, g2, g3, g4 uh, for the y position. We're going to do a problem. x prime, y prime equals 3x minus 2y, 5x minus 4y are initial conditions. And there's our known solutions. And it's from that book there. This is a, a printout of it, and I have the Excel done. So, so f1 is simply the function 3x minus 2y. So, let's have a look at that f1 is 3x minus 2y. There we are. f2 is 3x minus 2y, except it's 3x plus a half the step by the f1 weight minus 2y plus a half the step by the g1, and the g1 is over here. So 3 times x plus a half the step. The step is in cell B7. It's over here. The dollar B, dollar 7 is here. So that when we drag left or drag down, it doesn't change. And F11 is G1. Minus 2. Would have we got that far? I think you're okay. Y is E11. A half the step by J11 and J11 is G1. F3, 3x minus 2y, except with the steps added in a half H, F2. A half H, F2. And similarly for the y, the minus 2 y n plus a half hg2. Hope you can see it there. 3x plus a half hg2, which is there. F2, I should say. And J11 there is G1, so we've done that. There's F3, which is what I was trying to do. Apologies. And then, so we're referring to G11 and K11. G11 and K11. Okay. And then... F4, three plus a half H F3 minus two Y plus a half H3 three plus a half H3 three, and there's F4. Now it'll be the same for the Y, so I hope we're okay. And then we have to get the new estimate 
and the new estimate is the old estimate plus h over 6 by these weighted averages here. So let's look at that, xn plus 1. It's the old one, e7 over 6, that's the, the step by f11, 2 g11s, 2 h11s, of 1 uh, i11, as per the slide there. The y would be the same, but if you've got one, you've got the other. And then what you do, once you've got all of that, if I could, I can just say, I can delete this just a sec. If you have the formula set up correct, highlight, and control D fills down, highlight, down arrow, control D fills down, and there we have the whole thing. There's X actual, and there's the estimated. <coughs> I did the X error as we went along, and then I did the percentage error. So remember, the percentage error is the the observed minus the expected over the expected. So the observed is the the estimated one, the longer cutting method. The expected is what it actually is divided by the expected, and there's the graph over there. Okay, we can see as we go on, the error is tending to rise, and I suppose if you want it, you could. You can work out a, po a power law for the error going up ahead, but I don't think there's any need for that. I only did one graph for x, I didn't do it for y, but it'll be almost a mirror image of it, but not quite. Okay, so hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.